Hey, I'm Nick Mack, a freelance illustrator from London, and since my recent WAP video where I created my own interpretation of the cover design, I received an email to create a piece of art to celebrate the Diamond Edition release of Shania Twain's Woman in Me album. Shania Twain. The only woman to have three Diamond certified albums by the RIAA in a row. And there are only five artists who have achieved that with Garth Brooks, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin and The Eagles being the other four. No big deal. So I researched more and replayed her music and then drew up ideas and different themes. Narrowing it down eventually to this. So this is essentially an interpretation of a scene that's depicted in the No One Needs To Know music video, which is one of the tracks of the album. But it's also more than that, but I'll get into it as we go. So first things first, the trusty translucent white layer over the top, tracing over my initial extremely loose sketch and making it a little bit more specific with the layout and item position. Roughly applying color and doing it again. I like to do this multiple times until it's right. Starting to then add colour layers to and filling out flat colours bit by bit. I really like having the colours down before doing the final line work because it mirrors how you would do it with painting and all the initial layers before that were kind of like pencil marks. After neatening it all up, that's essentially the base layer done, which is very flat. But instead of using loads of different tones for shading, I make a new layer using black and selecting overlay. And this automatically picks up the hue behind it, making it easier to be a darker tone of whatever it was drawn on top of, making it versatile and really easy to create a shaded effect. So as I'm adding papers flying, let me explain a bit more about what this image means. I read in my research that Shania describes her happy place as being her alone time creating music. And so I wanted to illustrate her in her happy place and all the incredible things that have spawned from that place. She also describes it as another world. And when I think about being in another world, I think of these pieces I've made and the way that I'd illustrated that feeling by having things in the background and foreground flying to really highlight how unaware the character is because they themselves are transported. And I wanted to depict Shania like that, getting lost in her happy place. So when I saw the No One Needs To Know music video, it all clicked. Basically it starts off with them outside on a porch and then a tornado comes, forcing them to play inside but then the wind picks up in the room and then this happens. Papers start flying everywhere and I just had a moment of, yes, this is, this is it, this is what I want to depict, that's perfect. So I want to use the tornado as a visual metaphor for Shania's strength and the sheer force of her music and how it swells around her while she's in the eye of it, in her happy place. The pages gave me the opportunity to put the track names in there and the two and the five for 25 years. For highlights, I do the same thing as shading, but I use white and I set the layer to soft light. I 
changed the colours more and went darker for more contrast. I quite liked it, but I also felt that Shania looked a bit lost in it, and when I looked back at my sketch, I thought keeping it lighter would be more successful. And here it is. This is the piece created and fully inspired by the Woman in Me album and Shania herself. Do let me know what you think. Also let me know if you noticed any of the other hidden easter eggs that there are in there. But yeah, I hope you like it and I hope, I hope she likes it too. Like and subscribe if you want to watch more like this and also be sure to check out Instagram for my latest art projects and posts. But all that's left to say is thanks so much for watching this special episode of Artist Covers and I'll catch you on the next one.